the Army profession is comprised of soldier and civilian experts certified on the ethical design, generation, support, and application of land combat power, serving under civilian authority, entrusted to defend the Constitution and the rights and interest of the American people. What we've seen over the last 10 years is the creation of the, the most effective land force the world has ever known. We have seen through uh, the incredible sacrifices, the flexibility, the adaptability of the American soldier, uh, the accumulation of an awesome power. The United States Army is the greatest force for good the world has ever seen. Army leaders sustain the profession at all levels and within each cohort. The Army profession is an exceptional calling, one that demands special people to accept it and a unique set of standards to maintain it. Those standards come from the six essential characteristics of the profession. Trust, trustworthiness, honorable service, esprit de corps, military expertise, and stewardship. Trust. A positive relationship with the American people based on mutual trust and respect is the lifeblood of the Army profession. Trust continues to be the bedrock of our profession. Trust between soldiers, trust between soldiers and leaders, and trust between the Army and the American public. The American people give us, especially lieutenants, platoon leaders, their sons and daughters, and they trust us to bring them home safe. We need to keep that trust. We need to keep reminding the American people that we are professionals and we will always do the best we can to not only defend them, but represent them. The American people will always have that trust because the men and women who have put on the uniform have never failed the American people in 236 years. Trustworthiness. It's a 360 degree form of trust. Trusting those up and down the chain of command and trusting those on either side of you. The reason we have to have trust in the Army and in our profession is that what we're asked to do are very critical things, sometimes life and death. And we must be completely reliant on those to our right, to our left, senior to us, and junior to us. When you get deployed and you're there for a while, you just get this brotherhood with people that just, this guy might save my life. And that guy did save my life, and he's already going back. And I want to go back. I want to put my part in for what those guys did for me. When you're with your soldiers and you're in harm's way, you become solely focused on their safety and the accomplishment of the mission. It doesn't matter if you're tired, it doesn't matter if you're sick, it doesn't matter if you're hurt, you always have to accomplish that mission and you have to look after the welfare of your soldiers. Honorable service. It's the noble and honorable purpose of preserving peace, supporting and defending the Constitution and protecting the American people virtuously with integrity and respect for human dignity in accordance with the Army's values. Selfless service is about giving of yourself 100%. I'm on this planet to be a soldier. It's my responsibility as an American citizen to be selfless towards my fellow man, my fellow American. We as Americans are blessed in so many ways and we need to defend that and to protect that. I feel that um, that is my responsibility. It's an honor to be in the military because there are people that are unable to serve their country this way. Every day I come on post, I think about all the lives of those before me have sacrificed themselves for us to each have that right to do the same thing. That service is what people have to see, the broader perspective of what soldiers do. Not just the fact that they're um, out there fighting an enemy, but that they are, they are supporting every aspect of our vital national way of life. Esprit de corps, a culture that sustains traditions, respects customs, and creates a sense of belonging by inspiring martial excellence and the fortitude to never quit. Winning in combat is the only acceptable outcome. Esprit de corps plays a role in the profession because it is how we see ourselves. It's the excitement and the energy that we take to the task at hand. I'm a trained professional in combat. So to say that I'm carrying on a tradition of patriots defending their nation. 
it really just adds a lot of pride. It's just a way of life. It's not made for everybody. The people I've deployed with, I'd give my life for them, and they would do the same for me. You have to be passionate about this profession. It requires a lot of commitment, sacrifices for the soldier, his family, his loved ones. It's a part of you. So that esprit de corps, that camaraderie, that, hey, I'm part of something bigger than myself, and I'm proud of it, uh, defines us as professional soldiers also. Military expertise, the Army's specific knowledge for the defense of the nation, the design, generation, support, and application of land combat power and the subsequent establishment of a better peace. Being a professional is a widespread of knowledge that I'm the subject matter expert on my job, that I not only know my job, but the guy next to me, before me and after me. The Army and the military in general is big on training soldiers as best as it can. And there's a constant want and a need to educate and help its soldiers improve themselves through becoming better subject matter experts. It's my duty to be an expert. It's uh, my duty to, to be able to make moral and ethical decisions in, in, in tough positions and in tough places and uh, be there to lead my soldiers to do the same. Stewardship, policing the profession every day to maintain its ethic. Well, that is absolutely the foundation of, of our profession. Ethics, leadership, moral courage, a, a soldier that does right even when no one is looking. To be human is to take care of other people. The Army just makes it the right environment for me to, to embrace that and to preach and teach it and execute and, and live those values. It demonstrates character. It really shows who you are down to your, to your moral fiber and who you want to be and what you really stand for. Our trust that we have established with the American people is maintained through a moral and ethical standard that has to be upheld, especially in combat. A professional is a standard bearer for society and that society looks at them in a higher light. It's not only their duty to provide a service to others, but it's also important for people to look up to them, to, to see them in a, in, a, in a positive light and, and wish to emulate them. We know what makes us professionals. We have a rich body of knowledge, training, and experience for leader development. The question we must ask ourselves is how to adapt in a world where the dangers are always evolving and the demands on our soldiers are changing. How do we keep the Army profession always the standard for excellence? Well, the Army as a profession is important as we look towards the future. It'll be the foundation of everything that we want to do as we build the Army of the future. We've earned the trust of the American people through our actions over the last 10 years. And it's important that we continue to do that. The American people look at the United States Army as the protector of their freedoms, their liberties. So as long as we remain true to our values, I think that faith and trust will continue for centuries more. Whether it's in the words of an Army's senior leader, or in the determined silence of a fresh recruit known only to his family and friends, whether it's in the actions of generations of battle-tried heroes, or the single moment of human compassion, it is our character, competence, and commitment that makes the American soldier the best soldier in the world and the pride of the Army profession. I am an American soldier. I am a warrior and a member of a team. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place the mission first. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. I will never leave a fallen comrade. I am disciplined. Physically and mentally tough. Trained and proficient in my warrior tasks and drills. I always maintain my arms, my equipment, and myself. I am an expert. And I'm a professional. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy the enemies of the United States of America in close combat. I am a guardian of freedom, an American way of life. I am an American soldier. And together we stand as the Army profession.